I know some of us may not like this, but chaotic gardening is actually the goat of gardening. Let me explain. Chaotic gardening oftentimes leads to polyculture systems, which lead to higher biodiversity, less water usage, and more resistance to disease and pests. The really big thing, though, that scientists have researched is that polycultures actually tend to take more carbon out of the air and put it into the soil over monocultures. So monoculture would be like if you had a big land of just corn. Polyculture is if you had a big land of corn and marigolds and cosmos and, and everything else that you could ever imagine. <laughs> Also, a plethora of bugs and animals can visit a polyculture and have something to eat, have somewhere to rest, maybe to nest. Whereas in a monoculture, you're going to be seeing some of the same types of birds and bugs and stuff like that. And let's say if one crop does fall to some squash bugs, it's okay because you have other crops, you know, you're not just like honing in on that one crop. <laughs> crop. <laughs> so go plant some really cool plants, lots of variety, and follow for more science videos. Bye!